myself, Dr. K. Vishwanath Alamraju, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad, India. In this session, we are going to study the centroid of uh, symmetrical sections and also we will cover about unsymmetrical sections and that's why it comes under the category of symmetrical sections part 2. Now, in previous session, let us recapitulate. In the previous sessions, we have covered what is centroid, what is center of gravity and what is center of mass. The, the meanings, the purpose of using these terms is remains same, but the application of these words are different. The center of gravity is the term used for the bodies which are having three dimensional and the centroid is the term used for two dimensional objects such as planes, plane figures and the center of mass is also useful for the body which consists of certain weight or certain mass. But the meaning is remain same. What is the meaning here? In the case of center of gravity is the point at which the whole weight of the body is passing through it. What is the centroid? The total area of the plane is point, passing through that certain point. What is center of mass? The total mass of the body is point is passing through, is oriented at a particular point, is known as center of center of mass. Now here, and also we have studied, we studied some of the class, some of the things such as what is the centroid of simple figures such as triangle, parallelogram, circle. Now here there are certain characteristics, I mean certain things we can visually, we can sell ge geometrically. By negative we can tell that the centroid of a circle is at the center. The centroid of a rectangle is the joint of two diagonals, opposite diagonals. The joining of two diagonals intersection is known as that point is known as the centroid. The center of the circle is the centroid of that particular circle. And what about the centroid of a triangle? You can take it any right, either right angled triangle or isosceles or equilateral triangle. The joining of the corners two meridians, three meridians joining. The three meridians joining is known as the centroid. This is the centroid of your figure that is of your triangle. So, here in a, in a glimpse explanation, just a glimpse here, the reference axis are here x is at b and y is at h, y on the vertical line. So, with respect to, with the reference to this x and y, the centroid is located. With respect to here x and y, the centroid is located here. What is the distance of this one? The distance is that here it is b by 2 or x, that is horizontal distance. And what about bar y is the vertical distance, this is h by 2 of h. What is the area of this rectangle? That is a bh breadth into a here, the vertical height which is h. In the manner, here where is the location, the reference axis if it is located at certain distance or if it is located, here in the case of triangle, the reference axis is located, is passing through the centroid. That's why, what about the horizontal distance, the bar x equal to 0. What about bar y, the bar y is at the point that is h by 3. h by 3 is from the base h minus h by 3, it is from apex, it becomes 2 h by 3. So from the base, why we consider here h by 3 from the base? Because the reference, the axis is at x axis at the base, reference axis. If the reference axis is at the top at the fx, what is the central distance? That is 2 h by 3. Like that we have to calculate, go for it, uh, for finding out the centroid of the figures. Now here if we consider the right circle, there is a circle. The reference axis x and y is passing through the centroid. Whatever bar x and bar y which is zero. All right. Thus we have to uh, we can locate or we can find out the values of coordinates of the centroid bar x and bar y with the reference to the reference axis. 
Here there are certain figures such as the rectangular area, triangular area, trapezoidal area, circle, semicircle, quarter circle and circular sector. Here and also general, general spandrel, quarter elliptical area, semi elliptical area and elliptical area. These are the different things we can see it here. We can go through it in this slide. They are already explained in detail in previous session, in previous class. Now here in nature, the tiger, if you see the line, uh, line phase and peak, it is symmetrical about the vertical axis, the y axis. We can see the reference axis here it is. It is symmetrical about y axis. All right. Our face, if you see exactly, the beautiful face is always symmetrical about axis y. Suppose if the eye is bigger and one another eye is very small, that means it is not symmetrical. So geometrically, we have to see in both. So it is symmetrical means if you fold this line figure about the vertical axis, vertical line, about the vertical line, the geometry on left side and right side is exactly similar. If you see eye and if you see the nose, and if you see the ear, yeah, completely the figure, it is symmetrical about axis y. So in nature, there are different things. Everything is in nature so beautiful, why? Right? Because it is symmetrical about axis Y. And some of the things are symmetrical about both axis X and axis Y. So certain figures, if you see it, axis X and axis Y, yes, it is symmetrical about axis X, horizontal, and it is symmetrical about both vertical also, or rectangle, all right? Now here, there are the similar lines of symmetry, such as here, some geometries are having four lines of symmetry, some are two lines of symmetry, some are one line of symmetry. Now, if we consider the line figure, uh, it is a one line of symmetry, it is symmetrical about vertical line, vertical axis. Similarly, here the butterfly and what are the different leaves here and bug, it is symmetrical about single line of symmetry, that is one line, okay, vertical line. Now, here there are certain things are there. One line of symmetry figures, there is the kite, isosceles trapezoid and the trapezoid actually. Isosceles trapezoid is the only one line of symmetry whereas a trapezoid is having neither no symmetrical, it is unsymmetrical. That's what it is unsymmetrical axis. Now these are the things we have studied and one thing here, yeah, now coming to the symmetric and asymmetric or unsymmetrical. It is to understand you so important to understand the symmetrical about why it is suppose if it is symmetrical about axis y it is symmetrical about vertical line axis y suppose then whatever bar x equal to zero what to be found bar y has to, is to be found what is the bar y is from reference axis from the base where it is centroid is located on this line it will be located that's what point of understanding the symmetry and asymmetry here, the figure symmetric means on that symmetric line, the centroid will be located. So, we know there is bar x is the symmetrical about, no need to find out 50% of the complexity is completed here, no need to find out. Whatever bar y, this is the bar y distance means from horizontal reference axis to vertical distance. So, the centroid lies. The central lies on this axis, on this symmetrical axis. So the bar y has to be found. It is symmetric. Yeah, why it is symmetric? If you fold about the vertical axis, exactly the geometry on this side is same as the geometry on the right side. It is exact. Okay. If you give the eyes the geometry on, okay, it is on exactly having the symmetrical. Now coming to the asymmetric. Here in this figure, in this asymmetric figure, if you draw this is the line, if you center line, if you draw, it is not the geometry on this left side part is entirely non-different from on the right part. Here it is different. So left side part is not equal to right side part. Alright, the geometry is not same. That's why it is asymmetric. Alright, it is symmetric or about vertical axis. What about horizontal line? If you find out the horizontal line, let us draw a horizontal line. How to find out the horizontal line? Draw any horizontal line. So above and below, if you see the geometry, is it same? No. That's why it is asymmetric about the horizontal axis x. If you draw here, similarly horizontal line, 
the above top and the bottom geometry is not the same so this asymmetric is asymmetric about axis x and also asymmetric about axis y thus you can understand more better what is symmetric and asymmetric this concept is so important so very now here it is the figure one symmetric figure if you observe carefully it is symmetrical about vertical axis y that means bar x equal to 0 bar y to be found whereas asymmetric figure we have to calculate both bar x and bar y are to be calculated by using computational formula all right bar x and bar y are to be found here whereas symmetric about bar x is y no need to find bar x equal to 0 why because bar x equal to 0 means it is symmetrical about vertical line vertical axis so that is the concept of asymmetry so if you want to define uh, what is asymmetric and symmetric further the symmetrical shape a shape when divided down the middle is the same on both sides that is the meaning as we have discussed whereas asymmetrical shape or asymmetrical figure plane means a shape when divided down the middle is different on the both sides on each side it is different it is different here it is the same that is exact concept of the absolute concept of understanding what is symmetric and asymmetric shape now coming to the solve the problems find the centroid of a 100 millimeters by 150 millimeters by 30 millimeters which section here it is the t section how to find out the centroid of a t section so this figure is known as the composite figure there are two figures are joined it is two simple figures two rectangles are joined one rectangle is small rectangle they kept and the second rectangle is turned vertically then it becomes a T all right so is a section one and here it is the section two so what is the procedure for this is find out you consider it as a reference axis is the section 100 millimeters section one is having a b 100 millimeters it is 30 millimeters and the section 2 is having whatever the distance from here 150 minus 30 that is 130 here the length is 150 minus 30 here 120 millimeters the area length and width is 30 millimeters now the pressure is that there is the it is symmetrical about we have to find out is it symmetrical about any axis or not yeah it is symmetrical about vertical line or vertical axis that means bar x equal to 0 passing through that where it will be now centroid will be on this line the y y line centroid so what to be found bar y okay how to found how to how to find out this bar y bar y equal to that is a1 y1 plus a2 y2 by a1 plus a2 or bar y equal to sigma of a y that is i equal to 1 to 2 by sigma a how to find out we need a1 and y1 a2 y2 if we know we can substitute directly in this formula in this expression and we get the bar y distance what is the bar y now what is the a1 a1 stand for area of the section 1 what is the area of the section 1? Here it is the section 1 and section 2. What is the A1? There is a rectangle. Rectangle area is a B times H or 100 millimeters times 30 millimeters. That is 3000 millimeters square millimeter. Now what is the Y1? The Y1 distance means the Y1 meaning is the reference axis distance from reference axis to the centroid of the section 1 what is the centroid of the section from here it is half of 30 by 2 from here to here it is a 15 from here to here it is 120 120 plus 15 that is 135 or how to find out 150 minus 30 by 2 if we subtract then also get it 135 millimeters that is y1 
Next, what is y2? Distance from here to the centroid plus distance of section 2 to from baseline. That is y2. What is a2? Area of the section 2. What is the area of section 2? That is 120 times 30. That is 3600 square millimeter. What is the y2? y2 means half of the section 2. Okay, the centroid lies a diagonal half of this distance. That is 120 by 2. That is 60 millimeters. Now, substitute this a1, y1 and a2, y2 in the expression of the bar y expression that is a1, y1 plus a2, y2 by a1 plus a2. Yes, substitute here. A1 is 3000 square millimeter, Y1 135 millimeters, plus A2 3600 square millimeters, and Y2 60 millimeters, the sum of 3000 plus 3600. Now the bar Y we got it as 94.1 millimeter. What about bar X? It is symmetrical about vertical axis, the bar X equal to 0. Why the reference axis become? The symmetrical axis. Now, what is the bar by? Here it is. The bar by distance. Now, 100 millimeters here. And here, 30 millimeters. And here it is, 120 millimeters. And from here to here, it is again. 30 millimeters. It is symmetrical about which axis passing through the all right. Now where it is location? The centroid location of G1, the centroid location G2. All right. The what about the composite combination of these two sections? Where is the location is? So it is about about location is that is 160 here it will be around 91.4 millimeters distance. Here it is 91.4 millimeters distance. This is the centroid of the T section. It is at a distance of what is bar x and bar y 0, 94.1 94 millimeters. This is the coordinate of centroid location. Bar x and bar y, bar x comma bar y equal to 0, 94.1 millimeters. If you substitute here, this is the centroid. Why we have located the centroid here? Now, after location of the center, that means the area, the total area of this T section is oriented at a point. That point is a centroid, that center of gravity point, a centroid point. That centroid is 0, 94.1 millimeters. So, thus we have to calculate, all right, the centroid of a T section. Now, the centroid of a, now the centroid of a channel section, if you want to find out the centroid of a channel section, if you want to find out centroid of a channel section, how to find out the centroid of a channel section? The centroid of a channel section, it is here, it is, the dimensions are given here, 100 millimeters by 50 millimeters by 15 millimeters. So, the 100 millimeters is the length, 50 millimeters is the breadth, and 15 millimeters is the thickness. Now, here it is 100 millimeters length. Now, there are how many sections are joined here? Three rectangles are joined in different manner. Two rectangles are horizontal, another one is vertical. So, if you join here, there are different, different rectangles, horizontally and vertically. Then it became a yes channel section. The channel section is yes, considered is section one. Here it is section two and section three. It is symmetrical about which axis? Horizontal axis. So bar horizontal axis means what is the vertex is passing through the horizontal axis? That means bar y equal to zero. 
what to be found centroid bar x what is the bar x a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 by a1 plus a2 plus a3 algebraic sum the, sorry the sum of areas that is sigma a i x i that is i equal to 1 to 3 by sigma a i that is i equal to 1 to 3 that is bar x what to be found here the bar x to be calculated what is the reference axis you can take the reference axis the, the vertical axis here it is where it is located first find out what is the x1 x1 means individual centroid of the section 1 from the reference axis the rectangle the, the x1 is this is x1 what is the x1 equal to for rectangle half of that length 50 by 2 that is 25 millimeter what is x2 this is the distance x2 what is x2 the thickness is 15 millimeters x2 equal to 15 by 2 that is 7.5 millimeters what about x3 again here it is half of the distance this distance is 50 millimeters half of this distance that is x3 that x3 equal to 50 by 2 that is 25 millimeters okay what is the a1 what is the a1 equal to come on a1 area of the section 1 the section 1 this is the section 1 area of the section means what is the rectangle area of the rectangle that is 50 millimeters times 15 that is 725 that is how much here 750 square millimeter next what about a2 area of the section 2 the length of the section is 100 minus 100 minus 30 100 minus this is 15 and here it is 15 100 minus 30 that is 70 this is the length is 17 and width is 15 that is 70 times 15. Next, A3. What is the A3 equal to 50 times 15 times? 50 times 15. That is 750 square millimeters. After knowing these values, substitute in the expression that is bar x equal to A1, x1, A1 equal to 750, x1, known value 25 millimeter. J2 that is 70 times 15 X2 what is the X2 equal to 7.5 millimeters A3 again A3 equal to 750 square millimeter and X3 what is the about X3 the X3 equal to again 25 millimeter substitute all these values in the place of A1 A2 A3 and X1 X2 X3 we get the bar X distance here in the problem, if we understand, the find the centroid of a channel section. They said they have given, they did not ask you what is bar y, what is bar x. So how to find out? They ask you to centroid, that is bar x and bar y. What is that of this composite section, the composite different sections? Alright. So if it is symmetrical about bar, it is symmetrical about x axis, that's why bar y, it is the bar y equal to 0 and bar x is calculated. Alright, now let us begin how it has been calculated. The section 1 is considered as A, B, F, J. That is A1 into A1 equal to 50 times 15. That is 750 square millimeter. X1, the centroidal distance of the section 1 from the reference axis. Alright, the reference axis is the vertical axis here. Don't forget. That is the C here, G1. The G1 distance is 25 millimeter. What about rectangle EZKZ? That is EZKZ, that is section 2. That is 100 minus 30, the vertex that is 70 millimeters, 70 times 15, that is 1050 square millimeter A2. What about X2? X2 meaning is that the expression, the, man, the meaning of X2, the X2 represents the centroidal distance of section 2 from the reference vertical axis here that is the y2 here g2 that is 15 by 2 width by 2 here that is g2 distance 
that is 15 by 2, 7.5 millimeters. What about rectangle, that is section 3, that is C, D, K, H or H, K. C, D, H, K. This is the shape, this is the distance. What about that area? The width is how much? 50 millimeters and the thickness is 15 millimeters. 50 times 15, 750 square millimeter. X3 represents the distance from the centroidal of a section 3 to the reference axis from the reference axis. That is 50 by 2, that is 25 millimeter. After knowing this value, substitute in this derived expression that is bar x equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 by sum of all the sections a1 a2 a3. Now if you substitute, you will get it as 17.8 millimeter that is bar x. What about bar y? It is symmetrical about horizontal axis bar y equal to 0. What is the centroid of this channel section is 17.8 comma 0. So that means where it is located here 17.8 this is the 15 millimeters it is symmetrical about horizontal axis all right the reference axis in this reference it is located here. Now this is the center of gravity because it is a 15 millimeters on this axis will be there that is here it is located. Now we can understand from previous session T section to this channel section carefully understand there is very very important here I am going to mention for T section is the G value the centroidal the centroid is on the y axis whereas channel section here it is the G value it is outside the geometry whereas in the case of T section where it is located here, it is on the geometry, whereas G for the channel section is outside the geometry. So the centroid can be on the geometry and outside the geometry. Alright, so that one has to know it here the difference between T section and channel section. From this, we understood the centroidal characteristics or the important. Uh, thing of the centroid. In the case of T section, it is on the geometry. Here, how much? 17.8 mil. This is the 15 is away from that. The centroid passing through this point. Okay, for that section, channel section. Now, coming to an I section, how to solve the composite of either different rectangles composites? So, it is I section. How to solve this I section? So it is a I section having a dimensions, it is in millimeters, the bottom and top flanges, the, the dimensions of the bottom and top are 300 and 100 millimeters, 300 by 100, top flange is 150 by 50 millimeter and the web is 300 by 50 millimeters. We have to find out the location of the centroid. Here you understand for this section, this is the I section or I section. Okay. This is known as this part is known as flanges. F L A N G E flange. Whereas the middle portion is known as web. Other terminologies. Alright. Now the flange position, the flange is given dimensions 300 by 100, that is the bottom flange, 300 by 100 this is the bottom and the top is 150 by 50 millimeters and the web it is having, how much the web is having, 300 by not 300 by 50 millimeters. Again how to solve, how to locate the centroid of this, yes make it, it is, a it is symmetrical about, we want centroid bar x and bar y location geometry there is a called coordinate yeah we want bar x and bar y in for the plane for three dimensional we need how much for location bar x bar y and z bar also bar z but here it is we are talking about the centroid so that bar x and bar y is the plane figures two dimensional objects here it is it is symmetrical about which axis come on bar vertical axis what about vertical axis? Bar x equal to 0. That means horizontal distance. 
it is passing through that. What about bar y? That means bar y lies where? Which axis? On this line. Again, the centroid will be on the geometry of this I section. How to find out? Again, there are three sections are there. The section 1, section 2 and section 3. We want bar y. What is the bar y equal to? A1, y1 plus A2, y2 plus A3, y3 by A1 plus A2 plus A3. What is the A1? A1 represents meaning meaning of A1 area of section 1. That is the rectangle 150 by 50 millimeters A1. What about Y1? Now it comes. Now what is the reference axis? This is the reference axis. What is the Y1 means? The send vertical distance of the section 1, centroid of the section 1 to the reference axis. This is Y1. What about Y2? Suppose is the mineral here, the centroidal distance. This is Y2 through the distance. What about Y3? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, this is the Y3 distance, G3. That Y3 here. Here now Y1 equal to what is the Y1? 100 plus 300 plus 50 by 2. That is 425. Y1 equal to 425 millimeters. What about A1 equal to 150 times 50? Next, A2, the rectangle of the A section, that is the area of rectangle section. A2 equal to 300 times 50. What about Y2, the centroid of the section 2 from the reference axis? That is whatever centroid, this is 100 plus 300 by 2. 150, that is 250 millimeters. A3. Area of the section 3, that is 300 times 100 square millimeters. What about Y3, that is the distance from the centroidal X to this point, the, the centroid of the section 3, that is 100 by 2, that is 50 millimeters. Substitute back in the derived expression, bar Y equal to A1 Y1, sum of A1 Y1, A2 Y2 and A3 Y3 by sum of areas section 1, 2, and 3. Substitute so back, then you'll get the centroid of that section 1. Okay. Alright, in this section we have covered what is symmetrical sections and also we solve the problems of centroid of a single line symmetrical sections. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.